properties of the alphabet, A, B, C, D. We all know this is the algorithm which leads, uh, which leads us towards the eigenvalues. We have to find the characteristic polynomial, right? Like so. Which in this case will be a quadratic polynomial. You can basically just express this polynomial in terms of this little a, b, c, and d. So here's my determinant. We know how to compute that product across the main diagonal and take the product across uh, the other diagonal, that's the computation. You do, you know, I do the expansion, and I see my polynomial. As easy as this. This bracket, a plus d, on one hand, it's the sum of the main, main diagonal entries. This is the trace. On the other hand, from the Eta's theorem, from the elementary algebra, we know that the sum of the solutions of the quadratic equation equal to the sign next to the linear term with the opposite, with the opposite sign. So the sum of the eigenvalues, which are the solutions to the solutions to this equation, they equal to this bracket, which is a trace. And this is the formula for the determinant, isn't it? And so there is to it. Very simple algebraic link between the trace and determinant and eigenvalues. So that's how that's the form my equation take takes. Sorry, if you in terms of I mean in, if you use a trace and determinant symbol. And so here's your very simple analysis. If lambda one, lambda two, your eigenvalues, they will be both positive, if and only if both trace and determinant are positive. It's if and only if result. And you can test for positiveness, which is equivalent in our current discussion, in our current context, to local minimum point. You can trace, you can, you can test trace and determine. They're both negative. If and only if, what should be, what should be said about trace and determine? Both negative. Negative, what is negative? Uh, trace is negative, obviously, because some of the two negative values must be negative and? Determinant and determinant positive, because you have two identity product of the two negative values gives you, give you, give, gives you a positive value. Trace should be negative, and determinant should be positive. And two eigenvalues being negative, that's the case for local maximum point. If you have different signs, one eigenvalue positive, the other is negative. If you have different signs, no, probably script this will be good idea. Just like this. Say lambda one is positive. And lambda two is negative. What should I say on this side in terms of the trace and determinant? Determinant is negative, thank you very much. Trace. You shrug it. You just. Well, we, we don't care actually, <coughs> because just determining being negative is it's already enough evidence that the eigenvalues are of opposite opposite sign. No matter what happens with trace, just this one alone, it's enough evidence for in in our current context. It's enough evidence for settle point. 